Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. So I hope you all, you all are having a fantastic festive holiday. Um, I really hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. But for today's episode, I have something in mind that you wouldn't typically think of as uh, a Minecraft build. Because today we are going to be building a, a workshop. And it's not just a workshop, but it's, it's a Santa's workshop. Which is even more amazing, isn't it? So we are going to start off by flooding, flooding out some terrain. Now keeping, keep in mind that this will probably uh, be the longest part. So yeah, you will have to count with this that depending on where, where you build, uh, the amount of space you have to create is also of this matter. So it's not just start building out anywhere. You have to carefully plan where you're going to build it depending on the size of your map or uh, typically the size of the... the like where we're gonna build it. So as you can see with me, I'm not having that much space, so we are gonna have to create a little bit more. I would say around here. This will be enough. So you can just you can make this uh, just the way you like it. It's like this is more like a let's build instead of a t uh, tutorial. So we are gonna be starting off by just filling all this in with l uh, land or dirt rather. So. Let's just remove that flower there a little bit. There we go. Now another thing that I have noticed is that there is a little bit of water here. Well, water can typically spoil a build really, really much. So we are going to try to get rid of the water as soon as possible. So we are just basically going to just fill this in with, um, with, with dirt. So now we have this decently sized thing. So what we're going to do is clear our inventory. We are going to be grabbing uh, some spruce wood, spruce planks, some smoothies. Um, let's see, we can also grab ourselves some stone bricks, some stone brick stairs, stone brick slabs, oak, uh, no, spruce slabs, spruce door, and some spruce stairs. There we go. So for the foundation, we are going to be going all the way out here. Uh, just basically, we're going to make this by uh, six tall. There we go. So just go up by six. I think that's a six. No, that's a seven. We have to remove one. Now we just basically connect these two beams to each other, like any other typical building would be. There we go. So also a little bit of a detail that people often tend to forget is the uh, the, uh, the bottom layer. So what I always do or try to do is just make a little bit of a wooden layer down here so it looks a little bit more attractive when you, as an example, po or place some paints there. So we have this one wall done right now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just go uh, go in by one more on each side. Also keep in mind that this will probably be a two to three part long build. Uh, it's not nothing too serious really. It's just like trying to get uh, get this as right as possible. So it will be built up, uh, made up in two separate parts. On second thought, remove the uh, no uh, smoothies and go with the. Um, we can go with some red stained glass. So just fill this all in with red stained glass. Now go ahead and grab your spruce wood again, or spruce logs, just how, however you like to call it, and make it this way. Now what you can also do is take some stone bricks there and place those around the edges that you, hear, that you just made here. You can also do the same thing up here, but for that, grab yourself some more spruce wood and fill this in. I know this may, uh, may seem like a very um, solo color to go with, color palette, but keep in mind it's just it's one wall. So place them upside down stairs on the top here. I think that per personally, I think that gives it a little bit more of a better touch. Now for this side right here, go with your spruce planks and fill this all in. So this is one wall done. Now keep in mind, not the final product. So we have this wall right here. Now what we're going to do is 
grab this spruce wood. We're gonna go out by let's say six blocks. There we go. Um, right now, we no hold on. It's gonna be a little bit more. Eight blocks. Now what you wanna do is go in here and place a pillar that leads up there. Now, what uh, what people typically don't do is make shapes on buildings. Um, I've seen this a lot, that people don't make shapes on buildings, they just build a building and think it's alright. Well, you guys right, it's not. So we're gonna try and make some a little bit more shapes and mix and match, match it a little bit and see how it turns out. So for this, this could very well be the entrance. So for that, let's go ahead and grab our stone bricks. Actually, no. No stone bricks. We can go with a nice little piece of gravel. Uh, if I can find the gravel though. Let's see. Gravel. That's iron ore. That's bad rock. Oh, there's the gravel. So just fill this all in with gravel for the, th for the time being. Now just... There we go. Okay. So right now just fill this last layer right here in. And right now just remove that layer and go with a, li a nice little piece of spruce wood just to like uh, decorate, it, decorate it a little bit. Now, what you want to do now is grab the spruce wood stairs and go right here. So you have this little in entrance. Uh, for this, for this per particular spot, go with some more spruce uh, spruce wood. However, make it stand this time. Not lay, not just don't lay it down. Let it stand. Go with a with a, go with a piece of, sta of uh, stained paint and a piece a piece of spruce wood next to it. Now place one more paint on top and do the same thing. Now, what you want to do now is basically the same thing as you did down uh, down there. Fill it in with this and a spruce plank to uh, to top it off. So then that that will look that wall there will look something like this. Also for this little section right here. Uh, just go ahead and take. Uh, just remove all of this and fill this in with another layer of spruce wood. For this, though, we are gonna go in by one and make the same thing that as we did over there. Connect these. There we go. Now, also keep in mind, do the same. Do this again. I know I should have made some snow right here, but I felt like it just wasn't necessarily necessary enough. So for this, we are not gonna make the standard walls like we did there and there. Right here, we I or we I want to go with something a little bit different. So right now, what we're gonna do is some more red, sta red stained glass on this layer. However, now we will grab some. Let's go with some white wool. Uh, white wool. There we go. And now we are gonna fill this in. So it looks a little bit snowy. Through the again, go all the way up here, and now just connect these two layers. So, right here, just do the same thing. One, two, three. One, two, one, two. Spruce or uh, red, red paint. There we go. One, two, three. And now just top it off with some spruce planks. Right there. So for this section right here, what you might want to do is just take some, um, so, uh, I, yeah, this, this is it. Just go with some spruce. Actually, no. What you want to do is the same thing as you did right there. You basically want to make somewhat of a layer right here. And on this layer, you want to place some spruce wood stairs. There we go. Upside down, obviously. 
Now, we, we want to place some doors right here with a little bit of spruce wood next to it. Okay, that apparently doesn't work. And now some white wool to top it off. So now we've got one, one end of the house. Also, if you are into decorating, I would recommend doing, doing something a little bit like this. Uh, grab yourself some uh, green wool and some white wool and also some red wool. Because uh, right now what we can do is to decorate a little bit more, we can go with, with something like this. We're going to make a little bit of a candy cane. So there we, oops, there we go. Now make one more layer of white. Now one more layer of red. Place one more on top of that. There we go. We made ourselves a little bit of a candy cane. Now you can also probably do something like this, just to make a look a, look, look a little bit more appealing on the on the bottom, and then do this. However, this kind of takes away the effect of the candy cane that we wanted to create, so I wouldn't really recommend it. Just go with this. I mean, it looks pretty nice and solid, so. However, I can probably just do this a little bit better, but this was just an example to show it off. So right now we are going to go back to the doors, and for this little layer of um, entrance, I have a, spe a, spe a specific stone in mind. So we have to remove the doors there a little bit. Ex excuse moi So there we go. Now go to your in inventory, grab yourself some polished granite. So you get this kind of dirt uh, look whilst keeping this classy, th classy thing. Now just go back with the doors. And as I said, this is going to be a two episode long or th possibly three episode long video. So stay tuned. It will not come in the next days, but in, uh, in the next week, I will make try to make some more videos out for you guys. If you are follow my Twitter, you will see that uh, there was a storm here lately, so I couldn't really do anything. But I still try, so yeah. Gonna go with the spruce planks just to fill this in as kind of a roof, I suppose. Grab your spruce slabs, last but not least, and finish this off. You can probably go with something like this, and then um, go with something like this on the outside layer. I'm completely messing this up right now, but I don't care. Just do it like this. Remove those those two slabs. Now in the middle, go for another go for another slab or two. There we go. So I think I'm gonna cut the episode there. If you guys have enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. And have a Merry Christmas to you all. And hopefully have a happy new year. I will try to get the next video up by Wednesday. So without any further ado, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Savannah.